San Antonio is super lucky to have artists of the caliber of both Nathan Felix and Gerald Self in the city and working together on a project like this. Not only do you have Gerald's exquisite creations of these harpsichords, these beautiful instruments, but you also have the creativity of Nathan Felix and his music. And we, myself personally, of course, as well as those of us at Texas Public Radio are so excited to hear what they come up with. And we're also very excited to share it with the rest of San Antonio and South Texas. I think it's brilliant. I mean, San Antonio has an amazing arts culture and that's part of the reason that I spent a lot of time here and that I have a home here and that I frequent SAMA. And I feel very fortunate that SAMA supported my work and supported my vision. And it's been a great collaboration and partnership for, for many years now. And I gotta say that SAMA to me has the best atrium or great at the Great Hall. That that whole uh, stairway that you walk into is, is something I'm really attracted to, and it's, that room sounds amazing. And that's why I'm doing the four harpsichords in the Great Hall, and all of my concerts always end up there for the finale, it's just because it's such a beautiful space, and I, I think it's a, it's a staple of San Antonio. Musically, whenever I was creating this composition, I, I wanted to have textures that were very lush, and emotive, and I thought, okay, well, how do I put that into my music? And I took the harpsichords, I had four of them, so I used them as sort of this foundation, this rhythmic foundation, and then I painted over the harpsichords with choir and strings. What Nathan has done is to layer various rhythmic patterns, one on top of the other, on top of the other, using the different sounds and textures of the harpsichord to build up this amazing, scintillating, shimmering mass of sound. For the concert at the museum, we're using uh, several different varieties. The harpsichord that evolved in Italy uh, had a certain sound and a certain shape, and the harpsichords that evolved in Northern Europe had a very different sound and a very different shape and a very different appearance. But they still have that sound of the quill plucking the string. And no matter how hard I hit the key, or how softly, the volume is entirely the same. So it produces this wonderful twinkling kind of sound. I love new music. I love hearing what composers are going to create and come up with. And there are so many new ideas being generated, especially by the art scene here in San Antonio, which is so wonderful. And secondarily, to have something like harpsichords, which is traditionally thought of as an old instrument, one that you hear in Baroque music, music from the 1700s, used in such a new and unique fashion, and four of them together, along with choir and strings. I can't wait to hear what this sounds like. Instead of looking at harpsichords as a, a classical uh, Baroque instrument, I, I wanted to, to use it as more of a Americana way, like the songs are more um, art songs. And that's the way that I tried to connect visual impressionism to my version musically. Well, for me, it's exciting to see and hear the harpsichord used in, a, in contemporary music, in a contemporary setting, as a, as a valid musical sound and not as some quaint, antique, you know, instrument confined to a museum. Even though we're performing this in an art museum, it's very contemporary, and it makes the harpsichord into a contemporary instrument. I actually, I love Sam. It's, it's, I would say probably, and I'm not just saying this because this is for Sam, but it's, it's probably my favorite museum to do works in because from the get-go, uh, they've allowed me to, to explore the museum as my own canvas. And Sam lets me do things that most places, really, they're apprehensive, they just don't, they don't want to sort of open the door for these immersive works moving to the museum. I know there's so much, uh, so many things that could potentially go wrong and they've, they've given me a lot of freedom to, to explore in the ways that I want to explore. So that's why I love Sam.